Welcome back team, and today we're doing full body strength training workout. However, today to jump start our session, we will begin with quick and effective 10 minutes body weight cardio. We have eight exercises total to complete, 60 seconds work and 15 seconds to recover in between. So let's begin guys, this workout, super strong, Mind for success, everyone. Take a look at your first exercise. This is your dynamic ankle tap. If you're not doing your plyes, simply skip the half. So let's begin our work, guys. So join me when you're ready. That's gonna fly by super quick, but we're gonna feel so amazing right before to begin our strength session. So again, if you have some ankle injuries or you wouldn't fly metrics because you are a beginner still, just simply skip your hops, guys and just up those ankles. Let's pick up the pace. Again, as I said, we have eight exercises to complete total in our quick cardio block. 60 seconds to work, pretty decent amount, and 15 seconds to recover, slash transition to the next exercise. All right, my friends, we have 20 seconds to finish this one. Finish strong, everybody. Higher quicker, faster. All right, guys, few seconds to finish. Three, two, one, excellent. All right, your second exercise, guys, in this block, a little bit lower intensity. This is your step to plank and step back. On the position, everybody, in a three, two, one. Let's begin our work all the way, come on up now. If you are feeling that you really want to come for burpee instead, you can definitely do that. So feel free to do your burpees just like this or step back, guys. You can alternate, do one of it, right? That's kind of a great idea. All right, guys, we are definitely almost halfway through, through our second exercise. Let's pick up a pace. We need our heart rate up in this quick and effective cardio block. All right, guys, we keep climbing. We have about 20 seconds to finish this step to plank or your hops back. Finish strong, guys. Only a few seconds to complete. Couple more reps. We definitely can fit. All right, guys, last one. Whatever you're doing, come on up. Excellent. Your next exercise, take a look at the demo on your screen, is your simple jumping jack. If you're not doing your jacks fully, you're gonna go for me with a top out avoiding in the plyometrics. On the position, begin your work, guys. We have one minute to complete this jack. Let's make sure our arms super strong, guys, and straight right over hat. Do not stop. We're doing it together. Wider hops, guys. Good job, everybody. Stay with me. Very good. We are halfway through already. And this is your exercise number three out of eight. So while we're doing our warm up, I'm sure you want to hear what to expect from this workout. So after we finish our cardio, we have three blocks to follow, guys. Two of them, full body strings. And the block number three is your up blaster block. Few seconds on your jacks, guys. Three, two, one. That was intense with just 15 seconds of the break. Your next exercise, guys, is your air squats. And this exercise will take us through the halfway through our quick cardio block. All right, begin your work. Just the air squats. That will allow your breathing to recover a little bit before the exercise number five. That's it. Keep working nice and low, everybody. Remember, we squat into the glutes. So I'm using today two different sets of dumbbells. For majority of the exercises today, I pick to use my 12 pound set. So 12 pounds each dumbbell. For the flies on the floor in the standing bend over position, I'm gonna be using my 10 pound dumbbells, 10 pounds each. 
we have about 15 more seconds guys to challenge ourselves with the squats carry on lower up to 90 degrees few seconds guys and we are halfway through our cardio block all right your exercise number five is your burpee or step back again if you want lower intensity instead half step and then we do jack in a plane or we do step out get ready begin guys just like this or take a look you can do your step out you can step back and step into your plank whatever you will choose it's all good and as i always say you will get stronger by doing guys even if you begin with all the modifications just a few months later you will notice such an amazing differences in your cardiovascular strengths in your physical strengths lifting heavier weights and doing more reps your stamina your endurance your posture everything will improve guys all right but we must do our work we have 10 seconds guys finish strong everyone that's it give me one more rep to finish excellent we just have completed exercise number five your next exercise guys is your regular prisoner if you need some extra cushion underneath your knees put more mats or towels let's begin we go quickly we try alternate the legs if you forgot which lucky did just simply carry on we don't want to waste time on too much thinking here all right we move in we're not doing any hops in this exercise so that will allow you to recover your breathing a little bit but still keep your healthy fat burning heart rate go 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 almost through guys do not stop i can definitely tell my body is waking up and we have only a couple exercises left for this cardio block let's go let's go let's go let's go guys stay with me push it through do not stop my friends all the way and last one last one everybody excellent work all right team your next exercise is your plank to your frogger that can be challenging so choose to step instead the hop and i will demo that for you as well here we go plank and frogger you can step stay up here step back to your plank i'm gonna choose to go with the hops lift your chest guys higher stay with me do not stop all the way guys we're doing it together stay with me we have only about 30 seconds to complete this exercise your legs can scream at the very end but that is a great thing all right finish strong you can always move from your hops to your steps i will continue carry on with the hops as long as i can feeling strong today all right guys give me a couple more plank two frogger and one more excellent i'm so proud of you and we're moving already to the final exercise of this quick and effective cardio block this is your simple but challenging straight leg lift hand to toe get ready begin if you have to modify it and do your knee bend elbow to the knee you can definitely do it but try to begin strong guys and let's pick up the pace all the way straight high use your abs lift lift guys arms over head just a simple arm hold over health will literally spike your heart rate alone all right good work everybody we have about 25 seconds to push that's it higher higher do not stop guys 
Finish strong, everybody. We have 10 seconds approximately to complete our cardio block. Stay with me. You more leg lift. Hit it, hit it, and give me one more to finish strong. Excellent work, everybody. It's definitely time for us to drink our water and we're ready to pick up our weight for our first strings block. We have four exercises in the first strings block, three of them with the weights, and one of them finish your body weight exercise after we complete three. So cheers, drink your water, and let's begin together. This sip of water feels really good. And for the first exercise, I'm gonna grab my 12 pounder set. This is exercise. Take a look, guys, at a quick demo on your screen. This is your regular squat, two high pulls. So we do the high pull once we come back from the squat. You will rotate your dumbbells back and we perform the high pull. I'm gonna guide you through 16 repetitions to complete. Here we go. Come on up. Make sure that you squat into the glutes through your heels, use the rest back up. 16 reps, four exercises. And we're going to do this block twice from the top. So two rounds. All the way. Lift up, guys. Come on back down. Scoop the belly. I count the reps. All right. We almost, not yet, halfway through. On your squats, guys. Make sure that you do not back bend. Keep your chest nice and high. We have A to finish. All the way, high pull. On your high pulls, guys, do not lift your shoulders. Try not to activate your wrist, your elbows, and your upper arms. Pull the dumbbells up, four to finish, guys. This is challenging. This is a good weight. I pick up for myself today. Feels sweaty. One more, guys all the way lift up complete remember even though it's your strength training guys you have to pick up the weights you're able to complete all the reps and the most importantly you're able to complete them with a good quality your second exercise take a look at the demo is a simple bend over position fly 16, it's challenging, I'm using my 10 pounds. I will see how I feel. I might need to downgrade it to eight pounds for the second round, I don't know yet. All right, shoulder blades connected. Bend over position, abs in, guys. Begin your fly. We're going. That's it. Try not to swing. Lift, guys, use the arm and chest strings. That's it. Keep the neck, guys, relaxed and look straight up front of your body, not underneath your feet. We have A2 complete. That's it. I think I can manage it. Six more. Bend over, guys. Five, four, three, couple more. And let's finish last one together. That was truly a challenging exercise. For me, with a 10 pounds, I used to do the flies with five and a half, five, then I moved to, to the eight, and now I did 10. I'm so proud of myself. All right, guys, you will notice that progress as well as we move in forward. Okay, your exercise number four is your dumbbell plank to Froger bicep curl. Take a look at the quick demo, guys, on the screen. We will begin in a plank, just like we did it on the warm-up cardio block. It's the same thing, I'm gonna be using my 12 pounds, but we do our bicep curl. Step or hop, guys, whatever you will choose, let's begin. We have only 16 reps to finish. Full body work. I will give you a heads up when we are halfway through. 
that's it. Push it. When you do, guys, your bicep curl. Make sure this is number five. You lift your chest, you sit as much up and straight as you can in your frogger. Legs starting to fill in it all the way. Push it, guys. Do not quit. We are halfway through with this one. Perfect. Eight reps to finish all together, guys. Good work. Lift your chest before doing your bicep. That's it. Go, 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 go. I know bicep getting tired, especially if you're using a decent weight for this one. And legs definitely on fire. All right. Four to conquer, guys. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Three. We've got this. Two. Sweat is rolling already. Last one. Make sure you set your dumbbells properly before stepping or hopping back. We finish in a plank right where we start. Let's rock our dumbbells. And we're gonna move to exercise number four of this block, which is your body weight exercise finisher based upon what we did. We have our dumbbell facing dog transfer to plank push-up. If you can do the push-up that way, you will set your knees, guys, on the floor. We begin in the dumbbell facing dog, intentionally setting our arms wider than the shoulders. All right, guys, it's always okay to downgrade to your push-ups on your knees. Begin your work. Down dog back. Push. Longer face in the back. Three. All the way back, scoot the belly. Four. Stay with me. This is a challenging after our flies. Our bicep curl and by itself, this exercise is a challenging. All right, we have one more. We're gonna be halfway through everyone. That's it. From here on, if you have to put your knees on the floor for the push-up, please do. But don't quit the reps. I might still do it for the last couple once if I have to. Push it straight back to the dog. That's it, we got this four to finish, guys. That's it, let's push it together. Two left. Push it up. Hips back, muscle up, everyone. Come on down. And back. All right. I am so proud of us. I truly mean it. That was a great finisher for those three exercises. What we did, we have to take this block number one. Number one for strings. One more time from the top, guys. Let's drink the water and we do it together. All right, I'm gonna go back to my 12 pounds for the first exercise. Remember, that was your squat. Dumbbells to the front, high pull. 16 reps only, feet, hips width apart or slightly wider. Shoulders up, back down, just above the hips in your squat. Let's do it, all the way. Pull it up, down. Toes, guys, slightly away from the floor. Just a slight little thing away from the floor when you squat. That's gonna help you not to back bend too much. On the way up, thrust through the heels. Squeeze, guys, your glutes. We get in there. That's good. Lift, guys. Squat. Back. Lift. And halfway through, right now. Watch your high pulls, guys. Do not drive with the wrist or shoulders up. You can block your neck with your shoulders. Go, 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 go. I count, guys. 
we have only four left after this one let's go four everyone squat down up and couple more reach one more all the way the final one was tough for squat was definitely tough for my arms all right guys 16 flies if you're not sure that that was appropriate weight for your chest fly bend over position it probably wasn't then you have to change your weight for lighter just slightly all right let's get ready guys bend over position nice and strong weight slightly into the heel begin your fly it doesn't have to be a super high but it's wide enough when you feel your chest lift release guys with the chest do not drop your weights please release with control if you're not able to control the weight to release and weights controlling your arms and chest too heavy eight to go one two look up front of your body three good quality bend over four reps to complete we can one two neck is relaxed guys three don't lift your head too high Let's look up front and four that was a challenger i'm going back to my slow sound dumbbells for exercise our plank to program with bicep curl I'm gonna go for its well founders again, despite it was very challenging. Let's begin in our plank position. We have only 16 guys. Step or jump to the front. Begin. Just lift it, guys. All the way. We're not in a hurry. If you need a little bit extra, I'm extra minute or two to complete your reps. This is normal. We are moving in a different pace. If you can follow my rhythm, that's great. If not, you will pause the video for a few seconds while you're completing your repetitions. We get in here. We can do it, guys. All the way. 16 reps for Frogger bicep. It's a good amount of repetitions to work out these muscles well. All right. One more we halfway through, guys. Good job. All right, team. Muscle up for last date. Good. Nice and defined bicep. Nice and defined step or hop back. Acknowledge the plank. Carry on. All right, we get in there, guys. We have only four reps together for this exercise, and we're not going to come back to this exercise anymore today. Only two rounds for each of the strings blocks, and one round for the up blaster. Come on, guys. Final repetition. Give me one more to put the shine on top of this program. We finish in a plank. That's it. That was definitely a harder time to take it from the second for the second round. Let's drink our water quickly before our dumbbell facing dog to the push-up or the kneeling push-up. All right, guys. Fantastic commitment as always. I know it's hard but we can do it because we're strong. All right, downgrade it to your knees. Anytime you need to, not anytime you want, but anytime you definitely feel like you can complete one more rep. That way we're getting stronger when we push till the last available drop of power. All right, guys, in your downward face, Lindo, let's crush this. Push. 
push. Oh, we got this, guys. All the way. Down. Come on up. I got you covered. Do not quit. Return all the way back to your downward facing dog. If it's taking you longer, this is okay. We are halfway through, guys. We have eight more dog to plank push up to push through. Shift it back all the way. All right, guys. Or to complete, I know arms are feeling it. Try not to drop the hips, put your knees on the floor if you have to. All right, only two, let's do it. One more. Come back to your dog, walk with me. Congratulations, your first strings block is already complete. Let's drink our water and we're gonna move to the block number two. We will begin, take a look at a quick demo with your alternating sides, reverse lunge to bicep curl. Bicep curl when you are in your lunge, not simultaneous today. We step first, then we do the bicep. I'm gonna go for my 12 pound dumbbells, fill it out, Check this out for this round. If I have to downgrade it, I will, but I think I will be okay. All right, we will alternate right and left. So let's begin, guys, our work. This is your hammer curl. All right, nice and wide. That's good. We have six in total. Give me good reverse or rare lunge. All the way, step. If you have to, Put your knee on the floor for your balance purposes. Your legs are not as strong yet as a beginner. This is totally fine, guys. That's good. We get in there. And with this next one, we're gonna be halfway through. We have only eight to finish one. Stay with me, hold the balance, brace the core, otherwise the balance will disappear if you're not bracing your core. Stay strong, activate both legs, each and every rep. My bicep is feeling it as well. Let's go, guys. All right, two to finish, everyone. We're getting there, come on down. Beautiful, very good. Let's rock our dumbbells for a second. Take a breath. Take a look at a quick demo, guys, on the screen. This is your dumbbells to floor, bicep curl, overhead press. If you can't reach your dumbbells to the floor at all, even the tips, that's okay. We're just doing a deep zoom squat to put it other ways. All right, let's get ready. Fit, hips width apart, good quality bicep curl to over half. Let's load this bicep again, but this time it's a regular bicep, not your hammer. Dumbbells to floor, so you lower than your regular squat, right? Bicep curl over at reverse. Good job. Almost like your Zuma or Kroger but your feet are hips width apart and parallel to each other. That's it, that's as a deeper way to squat. On the way up, guys, I want your abs active or active so you can get up quickly. That's good. Come on. We got this. The arms going to feel it as well. Not just your lower body, raise your core. Keep the chest up and tall. We got this. Next one is going to put us halfway through. All right, guys, do not stop up. 
Brace. Push. Back. Again. We got this. Good job. All right, we have six to finish. We have six in total, remember? That's good. Flex and arms on fire. Push press. If for the couple few reps, couple last few reps, you have to downgrade, get rid of the overhead. Feel free to do it, but still carry on on your squat and bicep, guys. We're finishing. Two reps to finish, guys, all together. We started together, we finished together. Super strong, guys. Knees slightly soft on your overhead so you don't back bend for your reverse overhead. Last one, muscle up. We got this. That was a long exercise. All right, for the next exercise, take a look at the quick demo, guys. This is your chest fly pike crunch combination. If you can do your pike crunch with the straight legs, not a big, not a big deal. You will downgrade to your bent knees. If you can't do it as well, you're just gonna keep your feet on the floor and work on your chest fly. Let's get ready. This is a challenging exercise. I'm grabbing my 10 pounds weight, lighter version of what I prepared today. Elbows on the floor. Legs on the fly position are gonna be all the way up again. You can see the them. All right. Make sure you simultaneously lift your chest in your legs, otherwise your back is going to suffer. Here we go. Because your lower back on the top position must be grounded. Let's go, two. Simultaneously, three. Go back, elbows on the floor. Four. Push it, guys. That's it. Excellent, bend your knees if you have to. We have one more, halfway through. That's it, eight to go, guys. One, two, three. We're going four. All right, we have only four to finish. Four guys, muscle up everybody. Keep thinking strong. Three. You can. Two. Chin guys, off the chest, last one. Lower back grounded on the top position. Finish it. Dumbbells, slowly on the floor. Sit up straight or through the side. Our exercise number four. The block finisher is your body weight plank jack. We're gonna go for 16 reps only. All right, guys. Plank jack to Frogger. That's what I meant to say. Take a look at the demo. We begin, guys, in the plank jack step or hop to Frogger. Take as much time as you have to finish this. This is not your cardio, this is your body weight exercise. We can move slower. Let's do it. That's it. All the way. We have only 16, you're right. That's good. Almost halfway through, guys. When you are in your frogger, make sure you come up and tall. We have only eight to finish, everyone. Come on up. Step inside the hop anytime you have to. My legs on fire, my inner thighs, my glutes, and my arms. 
All right, guys, we have four, two, conquer. Three. Finish strong, guys. Final rep, everyone. That was amazingly challenging, but we did it together. Let's drink our water. All we have to do is to take this block from the very top one more time. Three exercises with the dumbbells and one body weight exercise. Let's drink the water. Cheers, guys. All right. I'm ready. You ready? We are ready. We will begin with reverse lunges to bicep curl, downgrade to knee on the floor as a low lunge if you have to. Let's begin the work. Feels good to work on the physical body. Endorphins popping up. All right. Go, 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 guys. This is your hammer, remember. Hammer. Stay tall. It's gonna get a little bit harder towards the end, especially if you have a challenging weight for your fitness level. Doesn't have to be 12 pounds. Doesn't even have to be 10 pounds. All based upon your current fitness level. You will see your strength improves with time and that's gonna happen pretty quickly. All right, guys, four reps. Don't drop the bicep curl, return it back first. We have two to finish. One more, guys. Perfect, all right. Excellent work. Drink your water if you have to. And we're gonna go for dumbbells to floor overhead press. This round, we're gonna change it a little bit so we can work our arms and shoulders a little bit different. Still bicep and overhead, but we're gonna go through the side bicep curl to overhead. All right, dumbbells to floor. If it's available, let's Crush this one together. Come on up. Bicep. Over. Back. Iggy. Squat. Lift dress with the hips. Up. Over. Back. That's it. Squat, guys. Slowly but surely. We almost towards the end of this second block. Second strings block for the second round already. All right. Come on up. Push it, press. I'm feeling it. Keep sinking to downgrade for the 10 pounders towards the last eight reps. I'm gonna wait for doing it. Carry on, guys. I want you to not hesitate to downgrade your weights to keep up with a good quality form. That's how we build the strings. All right, we have only eight reps to go. I'm still working with my 12 pounders. Not sure yet if I can do it for another seven reps. We'll do my best, all right. The hardest part here is to overhead it now. That's good, six reps. Press, back. All right, we have four to complete, my friends. I think we can, let's go. Bicep, over, back. That's it, all together, team, let's go. That's good. Two more. Up, over, Solid as a rock on your feet. Do not back bend in. When we do the overhead, it's very important. Last one. 
I am so proud of you. All right, guys, for the exercise number three in this block, I'm gonna be grab, I'm gonna be taking my 10 pounds dumbbell, but let's drink the water first. This is your chest fly on supine position, combo with the pipe crunch. Final exercise, not final, final exercise with weights of this block, and then we're gonna do our body weight plank jack to Froger. All right, come on down. Remember, you can bend your knees, guys, if you have to. Elbows on the floor, lower back would be grounded if you lift your arms and legs and chest simultaneously. Dumbbells on the side, let's begin the work. One, two, three, 10 pounds each. A good choice for me for this exercise. I probably could do heavier, but that's good. Damage my form a little bit. Activate the low reps, guys. We have eight repetitions to complete muscle up. 10 of the chest, guys. A little bit closer to your feet on a close grip. That's it, we have four to finish like this. Four, guys. I got you. Three. Two more. One more, everyone. That's it. Take your time, guys, to put your dumbbells on the floor first, then sit up straight or straight through the side so you feel safe on your head and neck. All right, your final exercise, body weight exercise of this block. Your plank jack to your frogger. You don't have to hop, you can definitely step to your frogger. We begin in the plank and we begin strong. And then we're gonna move to our up blaster, final block number four, including our cardio. All right, let's do it. Good. First eight, not as demanding as the final eight of the 16. All right, guys. We have only eight to finish. Let's finish super stroke with a good jab or tap out. Good hop or step to your frogger. That's good. All right, we're gonna do eight. Last four. Sorry, scared you. All right. We have only two reps to finish, guys. Last one. That's it. That was extremely challenging, but so rewarding. All right, let's drink our water and stay hydrated for our ab blaster block, which we're only gonna be doing one round. We have four body weight exercises over there. Your first exercise, 32 reps, and your next three exercises, only 16 to repeat for each. Your first exercise, Take a look at a quick demo, guys, on the screen. Is your plank or plank on the kneeling position to your knee, to your upper arm, or your shoulder. The challenge is we're gonna go 32 reps, the same side knee where your shoulders is. Knees on the floor when you absolutely have to do it. 32, let's crush this, one. Two. I'm gonna give you a heads up for each and every eight. Eight three guys. All the way, shoulder or upper arm. Hit it guys, all the way. 
you activate your obliques and your lower back melting those left handles have only 16 left guys all the way to the shoulder to the shoulder that's it that's it good work only last eight guys eight seven six i started to feel my hips really hard all right we did it this was a really belly fat burner all right your next exercise is your plank to knee across this time and then we rotate to the side plank guys and we go reach under take a look at the demo on your screen to make sure you figure it out exercise right away and 16 reps total on right and left side let's begin our work kick it the same leg you kick you reach up you go under come on back knee cross the same go under so you feel your obliques all the way under guys knee to the elbow the same leg with you drop the knee you go to that side all the way under guys we got this under good job we are almost halfway through i want to see guys those knees going all the way across to the opposite elbow so you target your entire surface of the abs that's it. underneath and through we get in there we have only four reps after this to finish that's good get it and three guys good work reach under all the way Put your knees on the floor if you absolutely have to do it. Last one. That's it. Good one. All the way through. Hands on the floor. Excellent. Your exercise number three, guys, in this block is your double leg crunch. Only 16. If you cannot do the straight legs, totally fine, right? Just the same like we did in our chest press and the pike combo the arms start behind this time and no weight but if you lift your arms and legs simultaneously your back will end up on the floor flat which is exactly where we want it to be 16 repetitions only let's go one two Don't great guys two that knees bent if you have to three you can do it just like this four five six we're getting there we have only eight repetitions guys to complete we can do it downgrade two bend your knees position if you have to that's it all the way just guys off the ground four to finish four Three, ten guys of the chest. That's it. We almost through, guys. That was absolutely amazing. Come on up. We have our final exercise left, which comes from our Pilates sessions. I always love include them for abs because Pilates exercise is one of the best for the lean abdomen and the slender waist. This is your double leg extension, guys. Beginners, if you have to rest your shoulders on the floor frequently, or even every single repetition, feel free to do that. Everyone else, we start here, we finish right here in this position. Everything from the center and out. One, two, three, four, five, Six, guys, ideally 45 degrees on the legs is good. The lower it goes, the harder it is. 
feel free to take your legs farther up. We have only six to finish. Six, five, and four, everybody. And three, and two, lower back grounded, and one. Give your legs, guys, a good quality hug. Excellent work with your hands on your shins. We deserve a quick cool down, quick and effective cool down. Let's take our feet up over the ceiling and give them a good straddle. Hold for four, for three, four, two, and all the way back towards the ceiling. Take your feet up and down on the floor. Lift the hips, remain guys, your shoulders on the floor, please. No tension in the neck. Four, four, three, two, and slowly release, guys, your hips back on the floor. Extend your legs, take your arms over head. Coming up slowly to the seated position. Seated forward fold, my friends all the way this forward fold absolutely doesn't have to be super low but i want you to pay attention to your back guys long and extended back this is very important for the quality stretch also try to maintain soft and extended knees guys we hold it three two one all the way guys put your one foot Next, and we go for the half spinal twist rotation. Look all the way behind the shoulder. That's it. And slowly, guys, return back. We do exactly the same from the other side. Look all the way behind. Good. Now, the shoulders come on back. We're getting up, guys, nice and slow, all together. Let's step a little bit wider. We flow for the few repetitions from side to side into the heels and glutes. And let's do it to the other side. And one more on each direction. That's good. And another one. Good job, guys. Slowly, gently bring your feet a little bit closer. Coming up, body breath by body breath. Let's give a couple. Shoulders rotations to our body. And then we finalize with a little arm bind behind. So grab on your t-shirt, on your towel, or connect with your hands. Very good. We did lift the heavy weights today. Go ahead and do it from the other side. Very good stretch. Give it a second or two. Let's take the final inhalation. And exhalation, guys. In through the nose, out through the nose, or through the mouth. Fantastic, outstanding job, my champions. I'm so proud of you. So I need you to rest well, recover well, and get ready for two more workout. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And definitely leave me a comment down below about your progress. I will see you all tomorrow.